witches and wizards in today's video I'm going to tell you how to complete your registry and no not the whole thing but specifically the magical games and sports registry the first thing that you're gonna want to do is you're going to want to find one of these flags in the ground where do you find these flags well these are kind of like nests and you find them in places of leisure think like the tennis courts behind me think like bowling alleys think like golf courses things of that nature while not all the locations are exactly known, that gives you a good starting spot of what to narrow down when looking for these foundables. Once you've located one of these flags, you're going to see that spawns in this area for that particular registry are going to spawn a lot more frequently. Not everything that spawns in this area is going to be that specific type, but you're going to see a lot more of them, thus increasing your chances to complete the registry that you are looking for. Now within the games and sports registry, you have three different pages. The first page, the World Cup ground. Every single one of these items, the, the gobstone set, the quaffle, the magical megaphone, the Chudley Cannons player, the Quidditch World Cup, all of those are foundables. You can find every single one of those in the wild spawning. We're doing research right now to see if things spawn regionally, but just know on balance that these are all going to spawn as far as we know in the wild in your location and since none of them are higher than low or medium threat level they should be spawning in your area too now the quaffle and the quidditch world cup can also be found in port keys now i wouldn't suggest using port keys as a way of farming the magical games and sports registry but you do have another outlet for doing such. The reason why I wouldn't use port keys is because port keys are completely random, so you're not guaranteed any specific items out of those. Just keep that in mind. It's just think of it as an added bonus. Moving on to page two, the Hogwarts Quidditch pitch. This is where things start to get a little bit interesting. You have the, what is that, the Bludger, you have the Golden Snitch, you have the Beater's Bat, and you have the Quidditch Keeper Ron. These are all going to be foundables. Again, you can find them in the wild. Of note, the Golden Snitch is going to be a high threat level and Quidditch Keeper Ron is going to be a severe threat level. Now if you're asking yourself, but there are five items on this page, how come he only mentioned four? Well that's because the Quidditch pitch stands, well those can only be unlocked or found or discovered or placed, whatever you want to call them, through wizarding challenges which you might also know as a fortress. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the fortress, you're going to drop a rune stone for the magical games and sports. That seems like a pretty good way to farm if you have enough of the rune stones. And then we move on to the third and final page, the Tri-Wizard Maze. And this is going to be hands down the most difficult one to fill out. You have the Nimbus 2000, which is a foundable, but it's also found in port keys. It is a high threat level. The Goblet of Fire, which is a severe threat level, is also a foundable and found in port keys. And then you have Quidditch Captain Harry Potter, you have the Triwizard Cup, and you have the Book of Quidditch Through the Ages, which are all foundables. And the reason why you probably haven't seen all of these yet is because they are emergency, so they are extremely rare. In fact, I haven't even seen the Triwizard Cup or the Book of Quidditch, and I've seen three of the Harry Potters. I'm gonna do an entire little series of how to fill out your registries, and I will focus on each different registry and let you guys know where you can find them, where you can't find them in the best way of going about and filling all this out i want to say thank you to jibs entertainment there's a link in the description below if you want to know right now about all the rest of your registries go check him out he does a great work over there and i appreciate him helping me out with this video additionally we are still trying to track down all the spawns spawn patterns spawn rates whatever you want to call it there will be a link in the description below and it will be called like research link make sure you fill that out a handful a day is all that I ask, nothing too daunting I would hope, and maybe we can start to get a better understanding of everything that's going on with Foundables in Wizards Unite. I hope you guys found this information useful. Let me know anything that I might have missed down in the comments below. That's all I've got for today, so until next time.